Sustainability is a priority for the University of Minnesota Crookston, and students there help lead the charge for Evergreen Hall to become the first Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, or LEAD, certified residence facility in the U of M system. The building's construction focused on minimizing environmental impact and saving energy throughout its development and construction. Students at the University of Minnesota Crookston worked with faculty and staff to help research and guide the projects that included the feasibility and design layout of a methane digester, as well as an inventory of building to building energy usage and creating a dorm energy conservation competition. Projects were designed to develop leadership skills and incorporate a real-world living laboratory through collaboration among students, faculty, and staff on clean energy projects related to sustainable development. When I was a junior here at UMC, uh, we had heard that uh, you know there was a need for a new dorm, um, and, and we had found out that it was going to be built, but it it wasn't going to be built with any sort of uh, certifications like LEED or like the B3 benchmarking system that that's um, kind of the Minnesota state standard um, or an Energy Star, Star standard or, or anything like that. When the design component started. Um, Chris Waltz and Eric Elgin actually brought up LEED certification, um, got residential life facilities involved, and really started a fire on campus, it became contagious, and um, LEED certification was pushed at that point. It's a campus-wide initiative, and it's actually a, a national initiative in terms of uh, sustainability on campuses, uh, energy conservation, we had to go through an educational process, uh, which is where the, the CERTS funding uh, really helped out. They, they, they were able to give us the, the resources to bring in speakers that could talk specifically on either green building or, or um, you know, whether it was agriculture and climate change, um, a variety of issues. So, um, Being that it was LEAD, I think a new awareness, a new light was brought forth. I think uh, many people, including myself, before I had spoken with Chris and Eric, I had no idea what LEED was. And as soon as I saw the fire in them about how important it was, I had them educate me as well as educated myself on how important it is. And I think many other students caught that same fire and they really educated themselves, saw the importance, and I think that has really went forth into the community as well. People are excited that we have this building and it's really a, it's a statement that this is the direction we're going. All of the uh, elements of becoming a LEED certified building is there's lots of different things you can do, but uh, the carpeting is made out of uh, plastic milk cartons. Uh, floors are made out of, the floors there are made out of uh, bamboo. The countertops and the uh, uh, and the rooms are made out of banana peels. Uh, we've recycled some wood uh, for part of the building. Uh, so it's just lots of stuff. Uh, some of the counters are made out of uh, recycled glass. Uh, just a lot of those kinds of things. Different types of fans and different types of energy that's part of the building. Um, the, the building materials themselves, there's a lot of those types of things that are making it LEED certified. The students were in on the conversations, we were, we were making our point, and they had valid arguments on why not to do it, you know, the upfront costs and, and, and among other things. Um, but we were able to just work on it, you know, if, if we would have got everything we wanted, this building would be, you know, LEED Platinum certified. Um, but we compromised on things, and that was really a, a, a great learning experience for, for students outside the classroom. Um, you know, I mean, all this collaboration and partnerships that we were able to build, and, and it's really what, what formed the, the dorm that we have. So.